Welcome back, Vulcan Deck Masters. Week one, last day. So this is day three. We've just seen a series between Trump and Orange. Orange again lost because he was on the rope with his grim patron warrior, which was really unfortunate. And then Trump won two games as a result of that. Um, so again, well played by Trump. We're gonna be casting Kufdon versus Stilo up next. Two unknown players, at least largely unknown. I don't think you and I have any information about them, really. No, a Finnish player and a South Korean player, and that's about the extent of it. Uh, we do know that uh, he played Kufdon. Did some work in a Finnish only tournament, I think. Uh, he's currently sitting 0 and 1. And All right, spec so plug. spectator mode again is glitching on us. Kuvdon, we saw face off against Kalento earlier this week, and it, it felt a little, a little bit unfortunate because uh, Kalento picked the wrong deck, and Kuvdon was given the default win, but Kalento still beat him 2 to 1. So I, I mean, guess real Kalento's, casual too. That's a, yeah, like Kalento, you know, Kalento scary Kalento. guy. Yeah, yeah. Kalinto's Kalinto, yeah. <laughs> that, there's nothing, I was like, how do you define this person? Well, I mean, you just have to meet him. He's very Kalinto-ish. Yeah. So he's got a Kalinto style to him. So had a nice, had a, had a vacuum cleaner in the background, which made me say a very uh, cleanly and organized guy. You know, I want to point out what still did here, coining out the mad scientist. Um, it's really interesting because what that allows him to do is to play the creeper on two and the bow on three to get the charge as soon as possible. Whereas if you played Lepronome, um, and he played Mad Scientist and the opponent had no axe to kill it, usually you might not be able to get that trap as early as you'd like. So I really like Stilo's play there. Because he can Kufdon weave in that Lepreno many times. Very easily. Got his Fiery War Axe down and uh, gonna get his Corsair out on the back of it. And then the Taskmaster and then Iron Beak Owl gonna be the grab and... Eagle Horn Bow comes up. And there the you Corsair go. was really good here for Kuvdon, honestly. I mean, that was... One of the cards you want to see most early on, because it slows down the bleeding if you're facing, if you're against Face Hunter. Kuvdon still doesn't have any indication that it is Face Hunter. He hasn't seen the Lepronome. He hasn't seen the Wolf Rider, which again plays into Stilo's decision to probably play the uh, Mind Scientist before Lepronome. That way, nothing is given away about your game plan. No, Kuvdon putting a lot of thought into this one because he doesn't have a lot of information. Obviously, the bow is down, but that's not going to give him too much. And Acolyte of Pain was the hover. Yeah, well, so, like you know, like in this, in this matchup, I think the hunters got it pretty rough. Uh, Patron warrior is typically very favored against it, to the point where some people say you might as well just not play it. It's like again, same thing as the last matchup. Uh, it's like in the 40, 60, 35, 65, in favor of the warrior, in favor of the patron warrior. Gonna clear the spider. Every, I, I swear, I've got a Pavlovian response to the rope now, man. That, that's killing me. I'm gonna get over it eventually, but. Uh, there we go, and Kufton really taking his time here. And it's Freezing Trap, so he might just trap. replay it and kill that 1-1, one, one, you know? I don't even... That, that's probably yeah, his decision. That's probably what the decision was all about. So nice use of pulling the trap and getting the board clear. Wolf Rider gonna come out. That perfect curve here on and 4. Ready to ride. And now that Whirlwind here going to take care of those two minions, which, you know, this is the strength of Patron Warrior against Hunter, is you have so many ways to just remove the board outright that it's usually not a big issue if the enemy uh, Hunter gets minions on the board. So many AoEs are in that Patron deck. Gonna be a cool Acolyte of Pain Whirlwind. Gonna get himself an Armor Smith and clear the board nice and clean. And yeah, I mean, this is the point where Steelo starts running out of, uh, of steam, really. I mean, he's got the bow charge, it's all good. Um, the Acolyte is silenced, but now they're playing on equal terms. Both players are playing, you know, one, two cards a turn. Steelo doesn't have any tempo gain or face damage gain at this point. So it's gonna come down to this uh, Summersmith stacking even more survivability on him. Gonna get that Berserker dropped and finish up the Acolyte. Send it on over. Arcane Golem for Stilo. Do you punch face or do you try to go like because at this point if you're removed if you remove the board, I think the game is lost. I think at this point you just try to push damage. One of the things that Stilo really suffered from this game was his inability to weave in hero powers between plays. Yeah, it's gonna like, be He's gonna be able to keep really this board, but it's gonna be there, really yeah. awkward. He's gonna hold on to it, Kuftan. And this is it, the patrons are coming, run, <laughs> run for your life. <laughs> this is it, the moment every patient warrior is waiting for. Oh, come know. on, you, you can't not do this. You're not allowed it's, to, Kuvdan. Don't tell, you want to yeah, give him a call? 
Give what? him a call. Give Koof Don't even a call. Let him know. No. Don't even pub this, man. Just play the Green Patron and get even more little T3s. <laughs> this is too there good, good go. to pass. There you go. Oh. Gonna roll it on out. Well, Send everyone's Patron about to across. get in here. Bring some friends to the party. <laughs> no, that's four damage. Like, that's uh, two attack that the, um, the Frothing Berserker gets per minion killed by the patron. Man, he's just gonna have to sit and Pretty rough amount, it. man. That's a pretty rough amount. A lot of animations, but you know, Kufdom was decisive, so he's not gonna fall victim to any of those sort of shenanigans. Kill Command on Stilo's side looking really lonely at the moment as 14 damage just slops right off the board. Yeah, and he just concedes and the game. And there's a This is over at this point. Kuvdon going to be going up 1-0 over Stilo. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is Stilo's first game in this uh, in this league? Yes. All right, so this is the first time we see him so on no. screen, basically. Uh, it's super yeah, I mean, rough matchup, so I'm not really surprised he lost it. But he has to catch up for that second one. He's going to be able to hold on to it as it uh, runs over to Hunter for Kufdon. Uh, you know, this face Hunter usually wins this if the Kufdon's Hunter is a mid-range. Very often, that is what tends to happen. Stilo with a uh, pretty Whoa. solid looking... Uh, Stilo is playing hybrid, my friend. I didn't see the high main earlier, but apparently... Yeah. Well, I mean, he drew, he drew into that curve, so let's, I mean, nothing above a 2 for a bit yeah. there. Nothing above a 2 cost. Nothing I mean, but a really like clean play on the on the patron deck for Kufdan there, so not a lot he could do. We'll see how he handles it when there is not a, a lot of invites coming to the party. All right, so the hunter with the web spinner. I don't know if Stilo plays web spinners as well, because not every hunter plays them anymore. Wow, it's, you got that is RNG, such though. a sad trap. That is such a sad trap. But the upside to freezing a mad scientist, and it might sound really benign, is that there is no free trap for your opponent for at least you know quite a few more turns because it's going to cost four here. So for still to play a trap at this point is going to require a little bit of investment. Gonna go ahead and put the knife juggler out. Gets the bow on the really next nice draw for Kuvdon here. Able to take out the juggler. Otherwise, you have to kill command it. And trust me, you do not want to do that. I mean, Kuftan, really. I mean, he's 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 building a, a lovely uh, look of success here after uh, that that super casual run through the first game. We'll see if he can hold on to it as things keep going along. Eagle Horn Bow for Stilo now. I would almost consider play playing the abusive and Glavezuka together as a tempo play, but he might wait to get an Unleashed Hounds with the abusive. Couldn't couldn't fault him for that, really. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. That scientist now for Kufdan. He's going to drop his shredder and uh, just send one up to face. Animal companion now for Stilo. Could his sound sell that shredder empty. very easily. That's not even that bad. Gets it off the board and it will not spawn something else. The problem with that is that you're giving your opponent the ability to start, you know, being the aggressor. Um, you give it like every single time Steel makes a play. Mm -hmm. It's giving Kuvdan initiative if he has something to play. Like in this case, he's got a mad scientist, and it's not that big of a deal. But you're always afraid that the hunter curves out, and then you're out of the game. Right now, he's sitting on it. Stilo, not sure what he wants to do. If he wants to just take care of it the old-fashioned way, what's he doing? Thinking about it, animal companion for a second. Nope, he's going to settle back on the Iron Beak Owl, and he is going to silence out that shredder. And now he's thinking, hunt. why let the Shredder live to unleash the Hounds and Abusive Sergeant a Hound to kill it later? But the problem with that is that if it doesn't end up working out, you're going to be taking a lot of damage over time. Like, if you, you don't want to just play Unleash and Abusive next turn for one minion if Kuvdan does nothing but attack and pass. Alright. Oh, Gonna give it a nice little Rexar hug there and then throw on the Glaive Zuka. Unleash the Hounds for Kuvdan now as he Picks up a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Picks up a Malorn from that web spinner. You know, it's funny because you never see it in a Druid deck. This is one case where it's a never played card outside of Hunter. And Stilo's starting to find some real cards here. That Savannah I Hyman mean, next turn on curve is going to be insane. Malorn will be coming out for Kuvdon, but it's going to be one turn late. Yeah, he's going to. That's a rough right, spot. You got to make him. that trade, man. Got to yeah. make it. Trap out, let it go. Yeah, if it's freezing, you can always trigger it with an unleash later. 
Got a second Unleash the Hounds. He's going to kill Command. Nope. Okay, Little Piggy's so going to not go to the market just yet. So what is that secret? That's the question you ask yourself, basically, when you're in that position, because depending on what Kuvdon does, you get information about what that is. If it's Explosive Trap, he would only kill it if you were afraid of Houndmaster. And at the moment, Stilo got a Houndmaster hanging out in the, in the hand, so he's going to give it the kill command. Get the board cleared off and just give him a steady shot. Send it back over. Draw now for Stilo, going to be Wolf Rider. Yeah, what I like about this position is that if it's explosive, like if it's Freezing Trap, um, you're going to be able to trigger it with Unleash or Wolf Rider. And then just punch face for a lot. The problem is that that Malorn, it might seem benign, but you know he does have to handle it. So I think playing Wolf Rider to go and to see what the face is would allow you to scout for Freezing Trap. Or you could attack Malorn, I guess, and then trade away the high main. You just want to make sure the trap's out of the way. Because uh, if that Malorn can hit your face, there's a chance you're just dead, right? Like that's nine yeah. damage. It's a beast. That's just too much. The yeah, there's, I mean, and, and with, with Quick Shot Kill Command hanging out in Kufdan's hand, as well as Unleash the Hounds, I mean, it, it's a scary spot to be in. Double Unleash the Hounds. Uh, yeah, he might try. Out, just so Unleash the Hounds for one Hound here. Plus, like, if he attacks into Malorn, what that does is that it allows him to kill it with the high main if it's not freezing. But it's a kind of a waste of an Unleash when you consider what this matchup can often devolve to. Wolf Rider a little late to the party, so he will get invited out onto the board. <laughs> so, well, no. He goes face, and it is a freezing trap. Freezing so trap. now, Abusive Sergeant has to be played on the high main to trade away. Unless, mm -hmm. unless, Stilo really has guts. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's no, no way, right? Yeah, okay. No. There's no way. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I, I don't would know about love. Guts. <laughs> I would love. And Kuzan uh, hoping for that juggler here, double unleash. That would be the top deck of the year. Let's see what he gets. Gotta get a Savannah yeah. high main. Not a bad spot to land in. Uh, not gonna end the game right away. But hey, it'll get him a step closer. Gonna unleash some hounds and go to go to town anyway. How often do you just go face here? I think that's probably the right play, right? Since you're this yeah. close, you've got two charges on the bow. You've got lethal next turn with quick shot bow if you just go full face. You can hero you power just, attack yeah. once and then trade one of them into one of the minions on the board. You just forced a big investment out of Stilo, so I mean, you got to be feeling pretty comfortable uh, with the state of whatever he's hanging around with. So yeah, I mean, definitely. It's, uh, not a bad idea, especially with him trickling down to nine. Kuft on at fourteen, though, so I mean, certainly not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. And steady shot. Are we done? I always got to wait for it to catch up. I, li I like watching it catch up. If there's something the satisfying about it, but uh, well, no, just the whole. The actions, watching them catch up as they as they run into the whole thing. But two to face, and, and that is going to be it. I think Kuvdan is going to be able to take the game on the next turn. There's nothing Steel can do to stay up. He would have needed a taunt of some sort, Belcher or Houndmaster at the very least. But as it is, Kuvdan is going to be able to take this 2-0, getting himself. Uh, oh, the juggler was Hounds one, one juggler. Away. One draw away for the juggler for the Wasn't double unleash last turn. Kufdan not gonna not gonna get flashy with it. He's just gonna go ahead and uh, do it old school. Take care of business. Well, Kufdan wins 2-0 against Stilo after losing to Colento on Monday. That's gotta feel pretty good getting his first win in the in the league at this point. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, real casual plays there from Kufdan. Uh, definitely a different look uh, from from a frustrated play against uh, Kalinto. You got a free one though. You can't be too mad about that. I'd be, I'd, I'd pretend like I totally took him out legit if it was me. I'd be like, I totally took out Kalinto. Look, it went one. I don't even know. I yeah. took it. Look, it was close. It came down, came down to some real, you know, real edge case play. But Kufdan got a, I mean, really comfortably two zero Stilo here. Uh, yeah. Obviously. Uh, being, uh, you know, coming from uh, StarCraft 2 and League of Legends, when you see a South Korean player, you got to get terrified. Uh, but Kuftan uh, making it look easy there. We'll see if he can uh, keep that rolling. As now he's going to improve to one one. Stilo's first game in the in the series, though, uh, in the tournament, I should say. So he's going to go to o one. Uh, so still got some life left in him if he can uh, pull it together and get those decks. Yeah, he's got he's got you know four three more players in his group to face off against Forsen, Colento, and Bunny Muffins. Three very strong players, I have to say. So the lineup's going to be tough for Stilo. 
But, you know, if anybody can do it, it's, it might be a newcomer. You know, somebody yeah. I've never seen before. Yeah. So, next match is going to be Show versus Ivan. It's going to be coming after the short break we're about to take. In the meantime, you guys don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 